Welcome to the Forgotten Road, um, my rulebook. Um, so let's start. Uh, it's, uh, before you see uh, the seven decks um, plus the components, uh, it's a meeple, uh, die and three custom dice. Uh, the custom dice I used uh, 120 grams uh, paper and uh, bookbinder glue and then I cut them out. And, uh, they work nicely. Um, I'm going to follow um, literally what happens in the rule book. Okay, one of the heroes in your party has been taken captive in a dungeon far beyond the edge of the wild. Now you will have to travel down the forgotten road and traverse dangerous and unforgiving territory to get them back. Uh, in the Forgotten Road, you direct a party of three heroes from the City of Lux via road cards to the dungeon and defeat the dungeon boss. At each new road card, you battle a road guardian to progress. Uh, you combat by rolling dice and matching symbols from your hand or take the consequences. Victory conditions. You, lo you win the game if uh, you defeat the dungeon boss. Uh, you lose if all heroes are incapacitated. You lose if you run out of action cards. Okay, uh, then let's set it up. Uh, this difficulty mode decide, well, we're going to play very easy. Um, very easy is recommended to learn the game rules. Well, let's see about that. Um, okay, shuffle the actions deck. Shuffle. Uh, shuffle the item deck. Cool. Draw three cards from the hero deck. Hero deck. There are 12 cards in the print and play plus the expansion, uh, which you get, uh, but al also the, the normal game, uh, the, the free game gives you four heroes, so I just draw four heroes, don't really care how many, because I play very easy, I use four cards as written. Okay, and leave the rest aside. And then locate the Lux card from the road deck. Road deck. This is called road. So it's a road deck. And we have here the city of Lux. Let's make some room here. Lux. And place it in the middle of the table. Okay. Place your pawn on the top half of this card. Uh, I had bought from AliExpress or something, the internet shop, a uh, bunch of meatballs, and I have here this cute meatball. Success. And locate from the dungeon deck the dungeon entrance. Okay, dungeon deck. Yes. Dungeon entrance. Dungeon entrance and place it near to the left of the Lux card. Not going to use this anytime soon, I think. Draw six cards from the road deck. Mm. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, very easy. Four. Okay. We don't use that much. A heart is uh, seven cards. And place them face down above the Lux cards. Okay, we do that. Um, place the dice and tokens within easy reach. Yeah, they're here. Um, let's take the camera a little bit into account, like so. Mm, 
Shuffle the road, boss cards. Road, boss cards. Yeah. Road, boss cards. There are six road, boss cards. Uh, shuffle. Draw the top one. Okay. And place it at the bottom of the road card deck. Like so. Then draw from the shuffle dungeon deck the top six. The shuffle dungeon deck. Yeah. Okay, top six. Six success and place them face down on the to the right of the road deck. Okay, so we have now this uh, draw the dungeon boss deck from the dungeon boss deck and random cards and place it face down below dungeon boss. We have two dungeon bosses. Um, P three P and Piers only have one. Uh, oh, sorry. Place it. Place them face down. Place it face down bef below the dungeon entrance card. Um, yeah. Okay. So it's below the dungeon deck. Form the road dungeon deck, put the road boss under the road deck. But we already had a road boss. Uh, put the dungeon entrance below the road. Deck. Dungeon entrance below the road deck. Yeah. Cute. And put the dungeon boss below that. The dungeon boss was already below that. So now we have a nice single stack uh, from which to draw the cards. Dungeon entrance uh, it does not apply yet. Uh, the four heroes should be face up. Let's put them. Um, we need to zoom out a little bit. Let's put them right here. Uh, sorry about the glare. Um, this is plus eight to fight to a fight card. Uh, this is two symbols that you can use, and uh, this is plus um, a d6 to a fight or move card, and this is plus 11 to a fight card versus a boss. So it's uh, useful to have him uh, to have Trailblaze uh, at the ready. When it matters, um, then draw the top card from the road deck and place it directly in to the right of the locks. So that the boxes line up. Now, what you can see here is that after from our perspective, uh, we see the Whispering Lagoon nearby. Um, but to travel there, we need cards. Um, put two merchant tokens nearby. 
Ja, ik heb het ook een... Let's see where it's a lot of money. Okay, so something like this. And we start with three money because we are very easy. Let's put that. That's uh, wrong. Let's see, three money, three money. Okay, uh, turn overview. Fill your hands to the hand limits of five. Uh, that's from the actions to three, four, five. But very easy is six. Do the descent skill test. Uh, so we want to descend and we have to match. Um, I'll do this off camera and zoom in because otherwise you won't see it. This is actually what matters uh, in gameplay. Uh, so we need a speech bubble and an eye. And uh, we use guys first. Because yeah, because the rules say so. And these are custom dice. Uh, roll them. We have a speech bubble, but we don't have. Uh, oh, sorry, we have a speech bubble, uh, but we don't have uh, the eye. Mm. Or very easy, we can reroll any dice. We're going to do that. And we now have money and a wild card, which costs uh, a wound. I'm going to use that uh, as an eye. So I place a wound on uh, Trelgis. Well, they all have four hit points except for uh, Astian. Astian has six hit points, so uh, add a wound to Astian. So we passed the skill check.